Golden State Warriors offseason has been nothing short of fascinating. With changes ranging from questionable strategies to astute decisions, the front office is making waves with its choices. Opting to build a younger team full of potential instead of relying on veterans past their prime, the Warriors now have a more dynamic and promising rotation. Have you stopped to think about how this approach could shape the team's future? One of the biggest discussion points in the Warriors community is the possibility of a contract extension for Jonathan Kaminga. Among all the young players on the team, Kaminga truly stood out last season. I remember that before the 2022-23 season, he barely had a defined spot in the rotation and his performances were lackluster. However, last season brought an impressive turnaround. Now, he's not just a viable option, but one of the most reliable players on the team. At only 21 years old, Kaminga seems to have a bright future ahead. Do you see potential in him to become a league star? During a summer camp in Las Vegas, Kaminga had a revealing conversation with reporter Jake Fisher. They talked about his development and expectations for the upcoming season. And of course, the subject of money couldn't be left out. Since being drafted, Kaminga has earned a decent salary, but he looks at his draft classmates like Cade Cunningham and Scotty Barnes, who recently signed significant contracts with their teams. In this context, it became clear that Kaminga is aiming for a substantial contract, a five-year deal worth an incredible $224 million. This would make him the second highest paid player on the team, assuming no other major moves. Do you think he deserves this investment? The situation is complex. Despite being a talented young player, there are still doubts about Golden State's willingness to offer such a high amount to a player who is still seeking full affirmation in the league. After some frustrating experiences with past signings like Andrew Wiggins and Jordan Poole, it's understandable that the front office is cautious. The last thing they want is a repeat of questionable decisions. Do you trust the front office to make the right choice in this situation? As the Warriors prepare for the new season, they have many questions to answer. They need to return to their winning ways after some, at best, disappointing seasons. Despite rumors about potential signings, the team has opted to strengthen its roster around Stephen Curry. However, even with this depth, it's still evident that they need a secondary star to share the offensive load. This is where Jonathan Kaminga becomes crucial. With his defense already at an impressive level, the expectation is that his offense will improve even more. Last season, Kaminga had a solid performance, averaging 16 points per game. However, his efficiency is not yet ideal. For him to become a constant threat, it's vital that his scoring ability and shooting opportunities improve. What do you think needs to improve in his game for this to happen? As the Warriors move forward, Jonathan Kaminga's story is one of the team's most intriguing aspects. Betting on his potential could be a game changer. What's your opinion? Do you believe Kaminga can become the key piece the Warriors need to return to the top? In recent days, a piece of news shook the NBA world. The Golden State Warriors' interest in making a trade that would bring LeBron James to the team. According to information reported by ESPN before last season's trade deadline, the Warriors approached the Los Angeles Lakers about the possibility of including the star in their roster. But why did this trade never materialize? The answer seems to involve not only LeBron's will but also the influence of his agent. A new report from respected NBA journalist Mark Stein revealed that LeBron's agent, Rich Paul, was crucial in the decision to prevent the negotiation from progressing. Paul, known for his skill in managing James' career, was firmly opposed to the idea of a trade to the Bay Area. He believed that if LeBron left the Lakers, he might face a backlash from fans and the media. Stein mentions that although the Lakers were open to discussing the trade, the talks never gained momentum. This was due to James' hesitation to leave the team that welcomed him and his agent's desire to avoid a move that could be seen as a lack of loyalty. Rich Paul begged both teams to abandon the concept, Stein writes. After all, James had already changed teams three times in his career, and moving again could affect his image. 
The chemistry that LeBron and Stephen Curry showed together during the Olympics increased fans' expectations about this possible partnership. Many wonder, what would it be like to see these two basketball legends playing side by side? What do you think? Would they be an unbeatable duo or a mix of styles that wouldn't work? This is a debate that will surely excite NBA fans, and the anticipation of a future collaboration between these two athletes would be unforgettable. How would you feel if LeBron James had joined the Golden State Warriors? Would the NBA rivalry reach a new level of excitement? The Golden State Warriors offseason has brought a wave of emotions and expectations. With potential changes to the team, such as Jonathan Kaminga's contract extension, and even talks of a possible trade for LeBron James, the discussion is vibrant and intriguing. Now, we want to hear from you. How do you see the future of the Warriors and the impact of players like Kaminga? Do you believe he can become a star? And what about the possibility of LeBron on the team? What would that mean for the league? Leave your opinions in the comments. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and activate notifications so you don't miss any updates from the dubs.